It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day for Brewers Kaya. Jasmine. Here we go, Lexi. Laying set with the yeah. uh, caramel ribbon crunch and Rowan Lahid with the uh, caramel mocha. <laughs> Oh, you have to put your Run, Dita. <laughs> Dita had a pretty wild run. She hasn't ran outside since, <laughs> since September, <laughs> and she was firing, but it was okay. We're, I think, somewhere in the two D's. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to come on here a bit to talk about my run that I made today. So first off, um, I think it's important to look at your runs not as a big picture because barrel racing is hard. There are a lot of things you have to think about, a lot of things you have to be conscious to do that, you know, it's a lot. It's a ton especially in a big arena outdoors a lot of noises and people um so i like to break it down into things that i really liked about the run and things that i would really like to improve next time you can't live in the past you can't you know beat yourself about a, about a run that you've already made because there's nothing you can do about it the only thing that you can do is work on things to make your next run better so for one the race that I went to this weekend, the weather was horrible. It was pouring with rain. And you could look at that and think, wow, I'm going to have a horrible run because I don't like the rain. My horse doesn't like the rain. The ground's going to be slippy. But I like to look at it as this is just a small race. And getting experience running in those types of conditions is really good because you never know what the future weather's going to be like, you know, at a, at a race where there are higher stakes or at a rodeo that you're really excited for, um, you know, and then if your horse already has the experience, you don't have to worry about it as much. So yeah, my horse is a drama queen. She doesn't like the rain. She never has. But one thing that I really liked about this race was that she didn't make a big deal of it. She was really excited to run, obviously, because well, she hasn't ran since um, February at all. She hasn't been around a barrel since February, so it's been almost four months. And even more than that, she hasn't been to an outdoor race in almost nine months. So even just, you know, going out there making a clean run, I would have been happy. But, um, so I want to go through my run a bit, show you guys what I'm looking for, the types of things that I 
um, liked in my run and the types of things that I want to improve on. So, first off, um, she was really enthusiastic, and I'll take that as a win. (laughs) She might have been a little bit wild, but I love that she's excited to do her job and that she gets that, you know, pumped up for it. So I'm going to take that as a win, even though maybe I should work on, you know, how to harness that a little bit and keep her mind with me. So, um, on to specifics of the run. So I loved how she came in, although she did come a little hard into the first barrel. So, and I know that this is kind of an isolated situation because she doesn't always do that. It's not, I mean, it used to be a really bad habit, but she doesn't do it anymore. Um, but her first barrel could use some work, obviously, but that's mostly just because she was so excited and hot. Um, and then coming around to the second barrel. So one thing that I wanted to work on specifically now, she looked like she was, she felt like she was going to shoulder into the barrel and she probably would have knocked it if I let her. But instead of pushing her past and keeping her working, I just grabbed her head and tried to bend her away. So I know that I will like to work on that. However, when she gets around to the backside, when she actually gets to the barrel, I really liked the way that she turned the back half and especially the way that she left. So I'm going to take that as a win. On to the third barrel. Um, It was just kind of average. She did slip a little bit, but honestly, like, she didn't blow off the back, and she ran home really nicely and open. So, those are the things that I'm looking at, and also, it's important to know what you need to work on, but don't scrutinize every detail because there's going to be mistakes in every run. So, all of that being said, I didn't have the run that I was envisioning in my mind. That's another thing. If you're envisioning what your run's going to feel like, what you're going to do with your hands, what you're going to do with your body, where you're going to be looking with your eyes, because that's very important too. Um, You know, if you're constantly doing that, you're going to make it more likely that you're going to actually play out what you're thinking. So, although I didn't have exactly the beautiful run that I was hoping for, she did clock a 17.9. It's not a standard pattern. It's it's a little bit smaller, but I'm not sure the measurements. Um... Her fastest run here last year was a 17.5, and it would be really easy for me to compare the two and say, I should have had a 17.5 or faster. However, that's not what you should do, because this time last year, I'm pretty sure she ran like an 18.5 or an 18.6, so that's a huge improvement. Her first outdoor run of the year, a 17.9, when... Her fastest time in this arena is 17.5. That's pretty comparable, honestly, if you're thinking about the conditions and the situation. You have to think about everything situationally. You can't just think about, oh, this is how fast my horse was at one point, so I'm expecting that from her now. Things are really different. So we clocked a 17.9. We actually won second in the 2D. Um, And there were only two horses in the 1D, and I say horses because it was one rider. So, basically, I was the third fastest rider, (laughs) if that makes sense. Um, But anyway, she was the fourth fastest, the fourth or fifth fastest horse. Anyways, second in the 2D. So, I'm really excited about that, and we won a good chunk of money. So, it's a win, and it was a wild ride, but I saw a lot of things I liked, and I know what I'm working on for next time. Um, So I really like doing these run little reviews. If any of you would like me to go over your run with you, um, just DM me on Instagram or message me on Facebook um, and I'd be happy to do that for free for you. If you want a run review, send it to me. I'll give you the tips I can if you need help because I, I, I see a lot of runs on Instagram and in person and I think wow there are small things that rider could do to improve a great deal but I would never go up to somebody and just tell them that because unwarranted advice can be taken the wrong way um, but I do love to help where I can if you have any questions so feel free and thank you for watching this video subscribe if you want to see more and Leave a video request if you have something specific you want me to talk about or show you. Thank you for watching.